spice by any team or any player in this series. This is really where the race, the first to two, if you will, begins. Prepare Evil Genius is facing up against newbie TI5 winners versus TI4 and even a TI2 winner in the face of Chuan. Match up against each other to keep their hopes alive in the winner's bracket. Despite such a storied history between these two teams, their exact strength and weaknesses in the bracket remain a bit of a mystery. Yeah, especially since both teams haven't really played a lot coming into this. We saw EG a little bit at Star Ladder. Newbie's been almost a complete mystery. It's kind of hard to judge just based on the group play alone. Newbie looked kind of mediocre, but a lot of teams said that they were strong coming into this event. EG was kind of the opposite where, based off of Star Ladder, you could say that they looked a little bit shaky and they just haven't had a lot of time to gel. But since the group stages, this team has looked like a well-oiled machine. So which version of these two teams will we see? Will we see the newbie that back. was dominating and being top three in every single one of the premier tournaments going into TI? Or will we see the evil geniuses that has rise, risen up going into the group stage and has managed to get themselves into the winner's bracket? Now, we're going to start things off. Evil geniuses heading up to that top side, trying to secure Samael. An easy banner rune newbie will control bottom. Looks like there's not going to be too much of a contest here. Our lanes should be fairly the normal right begins. side's gonna be backing up some mail i presume in the mid lane trying to get that stupendous the biggest jump possible that's what you referred to earlier right in the previous series how draw ranger mat matched with the storm spirit is what allows him to have a good laning phase you need to be able to have that extra bit of health for a storm yeah especially since storm relies heavily on getting those first three items as fast as possible just the bloodstone alone on this hero doesn't really make him threatening it's really just the potential to zip across the map pick somebody off with the orchid then just immediately get out getting that second defensive item Post Bloodstone is going to be really important in this game, especially if he's going to have any chance at surviving against some of these heroes. As I'd imagine a BKB or a Lincoln's is going to be what he goes for third. Even Radiant's something like a Shiva could really help him greatly attack. against Orca Slider and other Titans. Now, Zai had the idea here to be up in the top lane and stack up for the Batrider, that off lane camp. Unfortunately, to his dismay, he's going to discover that that one has just been blocked out by Chuan or laid out. So, no easy farm for Universe to uh, be able to recover from. Meanwhile, Newbie are actually running a much more active off lane of their own with KP and Kaka facing up against Fear and PPD, matching a two versus two. Right now, it doesn't really look like Fear is going to get too much out of this lane. Both the Elder Titan and the Slardar are such strong laners, especially in the early phase. TPD should just pull, try to get levels. Sort of abandoning trying to trade hits with these two heroes. They're not really going to take that much damage, and up the top, Zai trying to secure Universe's farm a little bit. Trying to take advantage of the fact that Shadow Demon and Slark in the early phases aren't too strong. Once again, Chuan. Stymieing the plans of evil geniuses manages to stop the pull over. Meanwhile, the bottom lane, Kaka, oh, getting to get a PP. Zai has come in, will be tethered up to give him that extra bit of movement speed. The stun goes out, doesn't hit KP as well. Stomp by Kaka! Is that going to be enough to be able to get him away? Stuns him all up. Another right click comes out from PPD. Looks like Fear is going to have to throw out the Storm Hammer. One more second, he's got the mana now. Kaka goes for the deny on Roshan, but they're both stunned together. And Fear will bleed Kaka to death for the first part. That was the best possible scenario as Roshan couldn't deny him as he was stunned up as well. Oh, she even going to deny that range creep and a very decent start for EG. Absolutely. If you look at mid, Samael's doing quite well for himself. 12 and 1, though he is out of mana now. Do have the courier funneling in the double bottles, though. So we're going to see Samael go right back up to full HP and full mana. And this should be a relatively free matchup for Storm as thrives against these melee heroes that can't really contest them or have kill potential against them. And we're seeing that already as quite early uh, 15 CS at just two minutes into the game as Moo struggling to break double digits right now. Now the Elder Titan, he had some impact in the bottom lane, but it also means that he fed away first blood. Uh, the Storm Spirit is getting so much space in the mid lane. Is this where we start thinking about Ruby perhaps rotating both the Shadow Demon and the Elder Titan to try and gank up that Storm Spirit? Or is that just uh, a little bit too much out of the realm of possibility? I don't think you have to do that quite yet, because the good thing about DK is Storm has quite a hard time killing him once you get a few levels of that Dragon's Blood, which he already has two of. High armor heroes are something that Storm really dislikes. Uh, and I think Sumail's the type of player anyway that will try to prioritize farm in a game like this because he should rightly believe that he's the best late game hero in this game. In which case, probably better to try and secure Hal's farm as uh, he doesn't want to be left alone against uh, a Batrider, at least not 
until he has his uh, level 6. So Kafka will remain in the bottom lane with KP, trying to ensure this Slugarm has a good start. This is too much newbie through and through. They want to be able to enable KP to have a uh, an early blink dagger on most of his top lane heroes and get his initiation in early. Yeah, the Slugarm is going to be huge to counter the Storm. Like Winter talked about on the panel, it's one of the best ways to deal with that Storm Spirit, but if Storm just gets a little bit of farm, you get his Bloodstone timing at a decent time, especially if uh, before the Slaughter picks up Blink Dagger, he might just always have enough to survive, even with the SD Disruption. Universe has been trying to bully Hal back as much as possible. He dove past the Tier 1 Tower, so we saw him TP back for his Tranquil Boot, so he is off to uh, a damn good start, a lot of that being helped out by Zai's Wisp. It's now going to be looking towards the mid lane. Both these heroes about to pick up their level 6. This is where potential kills could happen. Both these heroes are still rather tanky. Dragonite, of course, has that heavy amount of armor, and Sumail has got that zip zap. I don't really think they have the, the strong enough support to really burst down a Storm Spirit off the Dragonite Dragon Tail. They might, but at the same time, it's going to be a pretty heavy investment. They are making their way forward. Trying to get Sumail before he hits level 6, but they might not be successful in that. And on top of that, Sumail already has a magic wand, one of the best in the Potentially on a storm, and he's gonna pick up a infused raindrop on the way. So that should make it nearly impossible for him to die, but they are making the move forward. They're gonna be he has to the test. They don't have that level six, six. yet. Ooh. Hey. Just a little poke there, but not quite the follow up in time from the supports. They may try again when move completes his level six, but uh, for now, they will head back up to the top lane. They also have to consider that not only all those defensive items you were talking about, the magic wand, they even have Zai ready to go at any point with a tether model. So, if King that attempted play at mid may turn against them quickly. Yeah, they just They're wanted to try to get aggressive before from his level six. They were gonna try to lead that into some tower damage early on mid. That's the best advantage of having a Dragon Knight in this matchup, is that then each you have to rotate maybe one of the two that to deal with that, then you free up this bottom lane. But as a result, Sumu gets denied. Sumail's just gonna continue to free farm. He's already almost up to 40 CS at under six minutes. Unbelievable for any mid hero, much less the storm. So he seems to be not phased at all by that breathe fire damage reduction and the extra hits from overload, granting him easy CS opportunities. Does this mean, do you think Evil Geniuses, they're getting the best out of the laning phase, are you still okay with Newbie uh, still protecting Hao and Radiance trying to put too much pressure on him? I think they have to protect Hao because his early game is going to really determine how much real estate he can get. Because the way that it works right now is that Newbie, they have to take care of this dire jungle, and they need a hero that can kind of roam around this top area, which is going to be a Clark, to deny a lot of the storm farm. Of pressure on Mu. They're going to be a whole lot more pressure soon as TPD is going to wrap around with the rest of the supports coming in as well as Universe. Mu is going to be the target here, but already the defensive supports of Newbie are going to respond with extra TP. They did it. Universe is the pounce. He will be the first one down. The rest of Evil Geniuses retreat. In fact, they may even lose TPD. Looks like KP has his sights on the Winter Wyvern. Already has the amp damage on him. There will escape from TPD. A second Fear. kill going their way unless Fear can somehow stop it, but he realizes there is no way. And KP drops the mango and Slithering Crush will seal the deal. One to two now to the favor of Newbie. KP already has 1500 gold at seven short minutes into this game. He's had quite a successful offering as a result of having uh, Kaka pretty much camp this area for him. Them contesting this Fen plus Winter Wyvern, but. I mean, it feels like that was almost, in a way, a test from Evil Geniuses trying to go for a dive on the mid lane because we've seen, more so than any other team, I would say, newbie know how to play defensively around those early laning ganks. They always are, are set up with defensive supports behind their mid, and they usually are going to mass rotate to punish. You pointed that out before this game as well, that we are going to see this counter-aggressive play from newbie. We got a taste of that there as Universe not having nearly as good of a time as this Slaughter is when it comes to his timing. Only for him is going to be pretty delayed as a result of that mid attempt. But again, Sumail is going to be the hero to watch in this game. From a Storm player perspective, this is a very good timing for him right now. And the type of heroes that Newbie has, he can just eat them alive. Which means it is going to be all the more critical for KP to finish up that dagger and uh, get a successful gank on mid, couple with Dragonite. 
thing about KP though is he's gonna have his work cut up for him this game. He's gonna almost always have to be the scouting force for the Slark. He how alone just doesn't deal enough damage, especially with the Winter Wyvern. So, right, he is gonna be in a situation where he might pick up that early boom, but he always has to worry about falling behind in relative harm. If you only gank with the Slardar, you just get behind. You don't want to be in a position where at 25 minutes you only have a four staff. And, uh, like there, you want to start building four to those four items and treating yourself like a third court. Coming forward here with the invids, he's gonna get a quick surprise initiation on the move. Just a small bit of damage, nothing life threatening, but does force a rotation out of newbie. Curious to see what build uh, Sumail decides to go for. Does have enough money for treads, but there is a lot to be said about going just straight for the bloodstone this game and grabbing the arcane boots. Newbie. Two supports sitting behind Moo. They have uh, Hao with his level 7, actually level 8, about to be picked up. So they know he's going to be okay there. And KP is being pushed out. In fact, they're going to try and enable KP even more. An early invasion into the jungle. Classic Dota strategy at this point. Oh, we may see out, PPD though. picked out, but it looks like they are going to be able to get the initiation on him. Fresh Blink Dagger picked up by KP. All PPD could do is maybe get the Cold Embrace off, and not even that goes down. A third kill going the way of Newbie, and they may be set up to push in that tier one tower. Evil Geniuses Dyer's go pretty tower. quick with the response. They're already pushing in the mid lane and forcing Kaka to defend. You saw how far Fear was away from that attempt, I think. He was kind of aware of that happening, but they were banking on allowing their Winter Wyvern to kind of soak up that gank for them. Newbie don't really transition that into anything, which is probably the bigger part here is during that time period, you just had Storm farm, you had Batrider continue to farm, your Sven was getting the jungle as well, and Newbie, all they really get out of it is this level 5 Winter Wyvern who hasn't had a lot of farm, has 628 net worth, they barely get anything out of that gank. Might have not even been really worth their time. Let's talk about that philosophy a little bit. Our, our time together, you oftentimes encourage me to completely abandon that lane. Don't even leave a support there for levels. Uh, while we've seen, you know, some teams do take that philosophy. Others uh, are willing to leave a support there and sort of tanks the gank in some way. It, it basically kind of sets up a situation where the team smoking and evading does get that extra little bit of gold and experience. What are your thoughts on it? And what do you think that really means Evil Genius's plans are for this game? I think for EG, it's simply just if the gank happens at that south side of the map, then you free up time and space for your storm. Because the storm is the real hero of this game. If Winter Wyvern dies 10 times, they can still win this game just on the fact that this hero can get huge. Right now he's progressing very nicely. He's already got 1800 gold. This Bat Rider's not doing too bad either. Sven, who's going to really get ahead. All the pressure is on Newbie right now. EG can play proactively by moving around the map, but they don't have to force engagements, whereas Newbie they have to because we've got neutral uh, things that EG can just take control of, like this aim cap right now. That fear has already stacked three times into this game. Storm's just going to keep farming his jungle, so Newbie, every single time they show themselves as three and they pop the dragon form, that means you can't really make a move right after that. You're going to have to wait to cooldowns, uh, you're going to have to wait to reset the map, and the Slardar, look at his item build. He just went straight for the Blink Dagger. He's got no Tranquils or anything like that. He's going to struggle pretty heavily, just constantly rotating. I mean, he delivered a, himself a Clarity, but he still only has 500 HP and AP. He's got his work cut out for him in a game like this. So the, that kind of investment in ganking that bottom lane is essentially just a big distraction for evil geniuses to get more space. That dragon form being popped, the, the rotation, the smoke being used, it all means that Zamael will feel comfortable pushing aggressively and getting that extra bit of farm. He may even see a rotation through the dire jungle and starts getting some extra golden experience out of that. Newbie already trying to keep as much damage off that tier one mid tower with the early rotation by Kaka. Uh, this obviously, that mid tower, pretty important for Dire Side, right? It helps you control that Roshan pit, which is a possibility if Evil Geniuses win a good fight. More than likely, though, Newbie should be able to claim them. I think the interesting part here is that what usually happens with this 10 minute play is you'll almost always see in any competitive game right now, Dire has any sort of pressure mid hero, they're gonna make their way down into this Radiant Jungle, get one more down, uh, maybe even behind the tower, a full commitment of that and you simply just take down this bottom tower and you just own half of the map, but as a result of probably just being afraid of the storm farming, the Dragon Knight instead makes his rotation to this bottom rune and uh, I think he just wants to try to shut this down because he knows that Kaka is liable to be dived because he's a level 8, or uh, he's a level 4 Elder Titan. Yeah. Trying to make sure that Samael doesn't get the space required, so newbie 
obviously then would have equal incentive to try and take down that mid tower. What do you think the game plan coming up in the next 10 minutes is for them? I think for newbie, it's continue to get aggressive across the map. What I'd really like to see them do is maybe even make a smoke play for this top lane, try to pick off Universe and transition that into allowing one of the two supports on Newbie to get some farm while Slark, once he grabs his Shadow Blade, just roams around the map and creates a lot of space. The best thing that Slark does right now in this meta and why he's come back in such force is he just owns such a significant part of the map. There's no way that even a single support is willing to move around the map when you've got a Slark with the Shadow Blade, and so they have to clump together, slow down their own timings, and you can't just always cover yourself with sentries. Right. The investment we are going to see our on pause finally. Ten minute mark comes through. Oh, he does make a up, so that's what I was curious about. Whether or not you would do Radiant's this. Bottom tower is under Change attack. up from their mind. They will go for that tier 1 tower. Evil Genius is getting plenty out of it, though. As we said, Samael making his way through the jungle, trying to get that extra bit of boost. And same goes with Fear. He cleared through the ancient stack. Obviously, Universe is having a decent time as well, trying to complete that as well. So, Radiant's all three cores of Evil Geniuses are attack. getting something out of this pressure from Nubi at the bottom lane, and the tier 1 tower isn't even going to fall Radiant immediately. They seem a bit scared with so many heroes of Evil Geniuses Radiant's off bottom map. Tower yeah, is under attack. Nubi should just assume that there's a lot of farming going around. And if you look at EG's uh, commitment to farm, you notice that Sumail's gone for the Cambridge build, which has kind of seen a resurgence. Or was always the tread that's in mid cockpit. There's the dive on mid. Worried about. A level 5 Elder Titan isn't much with the male, but with the extra TPs, they will be rough. And now the stun comes in from KP. They're going to go straight for side. He's got a relocation. He's not going to be fast enough. He goes down and out. Instant stun of the male. Do they have the damage? No, not quite. The Slytherin Crush. Half a second Dyer's too late. KP had to be spamming that one out, but relying on cooldowns, they will not be able to get the big four of Evil Genius. Very well done by Newbie though. Radiant's they are utilizing this point dagger on this guard are very well. This is the kind of engagement that they need, but if you just look at the passive gold going on right now, EG still ahead on their two cores. Yeah, you can say that that mid attack. setup where they're able to kill the Wisp, yeah, they sell the, save the Elder Titan, but it cost them their tier 1 tower at bottom lane that they were pushing earlier. PPD did manage to get the deny on that, so that is obviously gold exchange-wise. Not really going to be real... Uh, Real good for newbie. Eight trying to set up again on the mid lane, but they can get another pick. When are we gonna look towards Roshan in that Aegis? I think even more important than the Roshan is for newbie to try to control this ancient area. If they control this ancient area right now, I'd say that the pace of the game right now for them is very good, and they're satisfied. But as a result of this kind of going uncontested, it doesn't matter if we do lose one support hero. The cost of Sven just farming three ancient stacks and storm farming out the jungle it means that your two cores are distributing farm very well well surely things are about to amp up as newbie are completing that shadow blade playing it out to out now yep. and they're gonna go for a four-man smoke actually meaning how's lane they're gonna go we just talked that about this stack and have to control this area Dyer's bottom tower is under they attack. won't be able to actually catch anyone Radiant's farming top that stack tower is under attack they will be able to block it away on that yeah, was move it's a good transition though. This top tower is worth it for them to go for in full force. But instead, they're gonna go all the way around, it looks like. Don't wanna get caught out. This is the smart move. Control this ancient area. We got two wards down in this section. Now they're gonna know when the stack happens. Well, geniuses, they kinda Radiant's had two choices there. They could have attack. actually pressured that mid tier Dyer's one tower. tower is under or attack. try and contest top flame. This four man smoke. Looks like they uh, didn't quite fully know that Nubi was going to go for the tower and they decided against contesting and just start setting up for the tier Dyer's 1 mid, being that it's uh, the higher objective. Yeah. For EG, I think getting into team fights early Dyer's on unless middle tower is can start out with a numbers advantage is going to be difficult. Radiant's top tower and is you don't really want to pull down the tower. Two-man slithering crush, that's going to set up Hal. He's going to get the Hal. He got bounced back on the play break into the Hal because of it. And now he'll be able to get the immediate damage on the gear. So setting towards the TPD. will be able to pop him out. Samael goes for the back. Running out of mana. On. He's getting low. He'll be able to make that last long jump into the river. But now the he's right there with the amplified damage. And they don't even need a slithering crush there. They'll get a second one too. Perhaps I gets the tether away. But he wants this pursuit. Better get another two-man slithering crush. Zai with the amplified damage is fresh meat for newbie. And they're going to claim the Batrider's life as well. Four down from evil geniuses. And newbie will push mid. 
That was so well done by Nubi as they set that fight up perfectly. They had all the time in the world to flank from every Radiant's single angle. Zumail is just going a bit too hard for that Shadow Demon right there. Is he just did not have the damage with his build. And I was just about to say, he, they want to try to avoid fights when your Storm is so close to his Bloodstone. But instead, they're just going to lose so many heroes on the back of that. On top of that, now Radiant's they're in two slowed down. Under the initiations from KP is really what set all that up. That two-man slithering crush. The miss pounce was unfortunate for Nubi, but it didn't cost them much. Nubi, Samael, he committed towards that backline, didn't have the mana to get it all the way across the river, and got stuck inside. Evil Geniuses looks like a game plan that would sort of cobble together last second as Nubi find a successful initiation. Yeah, they're gonna go back to the Smith Tower. They still have a lot of these ultimates up. The Winner's Curse is available to them, but they've got to be careful. They can't take two consecutive... Uh, another consecutive fight like that because Sumail, again, closing in on that Bloodstone. I think you want to wait for it, but they're going to smoke, try to secure this mid tower, and they've got to be careful for this one. Nubi, I think they're itching to fight. Got all their spells available to them. Maybe evil geniuses think they're going to catch Nubi off guard. This aggressive play, free blood timing all the way around. Nubi are pretty grouped up. Here comes the full on sandwich. They are going to get a two man coming out from here with the play. They'll take out both. Universe controlled up and a cold and brave will be able to save his life. Long time to be able to get the last one down on the move. Gets the next sandwich on the house trying to stay ahead of him. How? Gets out, but three down for Nubi making four. KP coming out of the And now it's evil genius' turn to reap the reward. Unbelievable read by Aegeus Fear. Just assaults the support duo of Nubi. They weren't able to get a single spell off. They were able to slow him with the demonic Radiant's purge. Disrupt themselves. Maybe they would have been able to win that fight. I think Nubi was favored, but that was the perfect engagement from EG. They immediately take out the two supports. You can't find it better than that. And now Sumail is going to pick up that Bloodstone, and EG are going to reset into a very good position. I mean, if you look at the initiation of Evil Geniuses, the Storm Spirit, Bat Rider, Winter Wyvern, all these heroes are excellent at being able to set up team fights for success. But Nubi's biggest strength is the very disruptive, defensive style supports in both the Shatter Demon and Elder Titan. Both of them have a way to kind of stall up your aggression, to put a pause on the game while that disruption or that stop binds time and resets the fight for Nubi. But we are able to assault that back line like Fear did. Take out both supports as he sent before they cast a single spell. Fight looks rather easy for evil geniuses now. Set up for another team fight. Five to nine. Seventeen minutes in. Evil genius. Here has the blink dagger. Dude, he's got to be careful, but think that that was pretty unbelievable. It looked like both the newbie supports weren't sure where the stone bolt was going to go, so they both froze. They stood right next to each other. They can't afford to do that, and I think they're going to uh, prioritize the safety of them now. It's moves in the front line for them with that armor. It's very hard to take down, but EG, they've got the blink dagger on this fan, and they want to utilize it. Newbie going to make it as hard as possible for evil geniuses to find a successful initiation. Look at their position in hard right side of the map, sitting inside the trees. Still not too grouped up where Stormbolt could catch multiple heroes, so... Evil geniuses, they're gonna have their word cut out for them in order to get the initiation needed, and that's why they're actually gonna back out, and this is actually fully tipped off by Nubi. Great scan, we'll see the Radiant's retreat of evil geniuses and their attack. rotation through the jungle and towards mid and top. And EG didn't get really anything out of that. They cleared out their jungle, so if Nubi decided to make an aggressive move, find anything. Double damage! Everybody from EG should make a full-on retreat. To just continue to farm up these two camps as well on the two cores. Sumail can start uh, establishing himself up in this camp as well. Doobie, you just want to continue to get aggressive with this blink dagger on the Slardar. Talked about how this hero, he might just turn into a fighter, not get enough farm, and slowly start to get behind and trying to see that here. B. Reaching that point. Right in initiation to attack the team. That's exactly Radiant's going to be the fear who finds the first gun as KP responds to force. So they're in crunch down. Kaka is going to be saved for the fight one. An interruption will only buy a moment for Spike though. And now it's going to be Evil Geniuses running over Newbie one by one. KP, he's going to be next target while Universe pulling back to move. KP will definitely die. Spear with God's strength cleans him up. And PPD manages to survive against Howe's assault. 
tried to go for the back line just like Beer did, but wasn't nearly as successful. I mean, this game plan from EG to consistently just go for the supports, pick up these free Bloodstone charges on Sumail, this is really what's going to enable them to scale, and I mean, the crowd touches it right now, EG is playing so well around their free force. Dyer's middle tower yeah, is under attack. Gonna have to go back to just farming away. As Moo pushing out that bottom lane, how going to take his part in top lane? Moo's got 2100 gold here. He already has the armlet. What is the next item for him? Does he need more defensive style beat, maybe? I might even think of picking up a point dagger of his own just because they lack some initiation right now on Newbie. I think Newbie is a team that des desperately needs to start playing aggressively. That's two fights in a row now where just been found out very quickly, and he does go for the blink da dagger like we noticed. Call. Oh, yeah. Move. AP though, like 270 gold right now in a position where he had something like a 9 minute blink dagger. This is not the kind of progression that you can see, especially against the storm who's scaling so fast. They need a Radiant's successful fight, or at least a pick up. They need one fight into a Roshan right now for Newbie to get back into this game comfortably. Genius is keeping themselves pretty well spread, feeling comfortable with their rate of arms so far. Yes, Arcelark is top of net worth fourth, but not by much. Both the Sten and the Storm Spirit are just barely trailing. And now looks like maybe are going to find that in each game. They don't quite have the burst damage, though. Dyer's going to be able to come in with the tether. Help the is going to be jumped on by Samael. He's going to out here. Turns, finds out move. How's coming in for the side, but once again, he's being distracted by CPD. And CPD needs to ride out. Now has to go. Your fear is dead, but guys, he's coming. Well, of he's healing up here. And fear is out of bounds now. How's not going to be able to make it away from this one? Right, right back. And Dyer survives. Quad down as well. And it's evil geniuses who will take the road shot. I guess that answers how good EG is. Three fights in a row now. If they go for the relocation, they want the win. They don't want road shot. They're going to take off five. That's the white. Now they're tied down. Newbie goes straight for the tier one. They keep up the pace. They don't let Newbie have anything extra. And now the Blink Dyer's Dagger starts swarming in. Universe, he picks up his own. Let's see that one again. They tried to jump on Universe, but the burst damage just wasn't quite there. And Tamail's initiation was so much stronger than the full force of Newbie. That was so well done by both of EG's supports. Constantly kiting. TPD alone. How occupied for so long. They were able to just isolate targets out. You notice that Sumail instantly jumps for that slaughter, getting rid of that counter initiation. And EG played this fight so well. They were so self aware of where all their teammates were at all times. Newbie, they cannot afford to take fights like that. That's a 20 Bloodstone Charge Storm that almost has that Orchid, and he's gonna render three of these heroes on Newbie's side completely useless. Newbie. Gotta be feeling a bit desperate now and unsure how to approach this. They keep on trying to get the right fights, and they find what seems to be a pretty good initiation each time, but oh, seems to turn against evil geniuses, <laughs> as they just seem to have the right response in the form of both Sumail and PPT, the defensive and offensive side. I don't even know who you call the MVP so far in PG. All of their forwards have been played really well. The two supports occupied Newbie's cores for such a long period of time. Newbie just unable to chain together spells as a result of this Storm Spirit who's Radiance getting so much chaos is in under these attack. fights. Lon and Hawk are just trying to keep up seeing what they can do, but around the map is a little bit too fast for them right now. Is EG going to go for smoke again? They want to go for team fight number four. Maybe they can even get a Roshan of themselves, which on the Storm Spirit would him pretty much untouchable. Yeah, this orchid. This could be big. 20 bloodstone charges. Yes, they're gonna find a moment. They're gonna be able to find move. Pull it back. KP cooked in the stuff. The slithery crush not there. Now all the jump in from the mail. Grass Paka. No defense and support play there. He gets stunned up with the mail. He's gonna receive some help from Zion. He's gonna zip it around. The mail's gonna be fine. The cold embrace buys him a little bit of healing time. And how oh, to run himself away. But the mail is gonna jump forward. He's gonna be able to save. Nice Witcher's Curse out, Samael with a bit too far forward, now they're going to be able to get the Orchid out, How surely dead, unable to be saved by anybody from Newbie squad. Oh, they're going to go man behind you, Samael, he just keeps on running in. The Take regeneration, no. he has so much mana to work with, it just doesn't stop. This is how you play a Storm Strid. Samael's just giving a master class, the other two players so far into this main stage who have failed with it.
This is the hero that made his, his name famous. Radiance bottom tower he is doing it proud right now. Level 16 storm charges. <laughs> bloodstone charges. Like, this guy is pretty much unstoppable. And he's already got 2k gold in the bank. You'll have that third item. You're really pumping that up. The third item for Storm Spirit is yeah. really where, where he truly comes online. He's already kind of come online in yeah. The third item. Shiva's, Lincoln's, both of them have merit. He's gonna go for either the Hex or the Lincoln's for himself. If he goes for the Lincoln's, I think Newbie have almost no hope of stopping this guy. I mean, look at Newbie's items. They went for Echo Saber on the Slark. They went the Blink Dagger on the Dragonite. Slardar still has no progression past the Blink Dagger that he picked up rather early on in the game. These heroes are committed pretty heavily towards being able to contest and even win Evil Geniuses in that 20 minute, 15, 20 minute area. And it didn't work out for them, and now they're just not going to see the kind of mid to late game progression that they had ID. And EG allowing Newbie to filter into them. They know that Newbie's efforts are right now. Everything that Newbie has done so far in terms of their build has itemized for the mid game. KP at one point had 200 gold about five minutes ago, now has 500, and they're in a position where they're just forced to smoke right now. They don't have a lot Radiance of options. Middle tower they might even decide to go denied. for the Roshan, but in that pit is waiting. There's a heartbeat there, but instead they're going to try to get aggressive. EG on the opposite side of the map, reading this movement perfectly, and he's going to get denied once again. Smoke, not going to last long enough for them to be able to make the long journey up the top lane. Get close, and how might be able to scout them out with the Shadow Blade, but it seems like Evil Genius is going to stay in tight knit here, excluding Universe, who will trail a bit farther behind. Unfortunately, when you play as a storm, it's usually when there are two farm supports that you can't really do anything about. Them. But for each other, now they're gonna They've got to do the move all by himself off the top rune. God likes the mail. Yeah, they cannot right now. It'll be it's gonna go full retreat mode. He's gonna filter it. Jump forward, mail looking for more. I don't know on mana though. He's got to be careful. They're just gonna passively push out the top lane and dare Newbie to fight them. Newbie just getting further and further behind them. They've got to split up the map. Okay, your tower will be taken by Evil Geniuses, and this will help Sven finish up his third Dyer's item, which will be the lead to stop the Dragon Tail of the Dragon Knight. They're kind of all in committed with that Blink Dagger to try and shut out the Storm Spirit as fast as possible. A rapid rotation, though, and a long jump from Smail. Finds Dwan, a perfect pickup with that Orchid. Makes it look too damn easy for Evil Geniuses. No support can survive anymore. He can just make those random jumps, find heroes around the map. Play this style against a storm who farmed anyways. 25 bloodstone charges. He just continues to rack him up. Even if he dies, he'll almost instantly be back in the fight. Because I can even bring him back. I'm just gonna take all these outer towers and it's not even like easy to have a chance to push on it. It's just that they're so much stronger. UPSC, no item progression on any of their cores. Slardar, he'd be lucky to get something like a 35 minute four step at this point. Evil Jesus, while they may be playing aggressive, they're not giving any opening to Newbie. Three little came forward is gonna bring time back to this fight. Where they get the tier two. The universe already scouting out that Newbie are not going to contest this tier two. Newbie pretty much have to hold up inside their base, it seems. As they really can't take a straight five on five anymore. The problem for them, though, again, is their activation is oh! to the fact that they kind of have to go for these fights. It's not like their sword skill ultra well later into the game. Neither of them can do anything against the sword spirit. KP doesn't have an item to contest anymore. The problem is, there was a point where you could drop everything on Sumail and you could probably take him down and maybe you could fight the rest of the heroes. But now this is a storm spirit with 2000 HP, 17 armor, and a Lincoln's. There is almost no chance that you'd be taken out, even if they isolated Double four one. damage! Slark that would normally want to go Scotty. Forced into an Amanta style position. Doesn't want to be caught out by that Orchid without Dark Pact already running in, so... And the Orchid's gonna be laid down. Oh, they are going to be able to disrupt it, but instead, they'll take KT will actually Kaka for slightly later. Move, gonna be chased away by Universe, and Juan will be the 
third kick up, triple kill. Tamil once more, running low on mana with the help of fear. He can do it all the way to the tier three tower. Armlet toggling move, desperate to be able to get out of here, but not the case. An ultra kill for Samael as he falls out of control. And Al simply can't do anything as EG. They're definitely going to chase this hero. One of the five man wipes. Now he's going to go for the TP. Sumail doesn't have anything left in the tank, but EG with so many team fights, one in a row. Not a lot of hope for Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Tier 2 being assaulted, the last one of its kind. Our newbie. The next stop, Evil Geniuses. An Aegis in their hands and go high ground. Tell them the story. You could even see Evil Geniuses grab go high ground without it. They are in such a dominant middle tower at this point. Dyer's middle EG, tower out of all the teams remaining, fallen. they look like they're going to be the closest to maybe repeating as TI champs as they look so on point right now. They're gonna move into this Roche pit. Newbie. Again, they probably just have to bait check to this to stop it. Back to the main. Bigger and bigger. Newbie are not gonna go anywhere on its team. They are pushing their way out into the dire jungle. Maybe they're not aware that it goes on. Maybe they don't think they can contend. They'll mop the train and fall up what little they can. Chains up. Everybody right now. They keep running around this five. They can't really afford to show themselves as individual heroes to push out lanes because of Storm. Now almost has this Bloodthorn available to him. Solo pickoff potential for him is so huge. And at some point, newbie, they've got to come back and they've got to defend this. There's no Dyer's opportunity for them to go for a push as Gabo Demon. Comes in, but he doesn't want to get too close. Most support from newbie. They've got to be careful. They think they're far enough back. No distance that the mail will not go to to pick a support off. He made a grab one shadow demon while fear takes the tier three tower. This is just a good goal. There it is. They're gonna call it pretty early. 25 to 9. A little more to finish things off. The mail with 30 bloodstone charges. The sword spirit is truly back in the meta on evil geniuses. He just went completely unchecked and. Out of all the teams that have run him so far in this tournament, he has made him look unbelievable. Absolutely an electric performance by Samael and the rest of Evil Geniuses. They look to simply outclass Newbie in this game number one. Newbie going to have to take a hard look at what went wrong in that game and come back in game number two.